Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a yet another GR Corolla video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the newly released tuning capabilities through ECU Tech for the GR Corolla platform. And we're gonna be walking you guys through how to use the phone flash feature and all the other awesome features that come with ECU Tech. The GR Corolla is already strapped onto the dyno. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in this video, what we're gonna do is the first half of the video, we're gonna be going over kind of the basic package that Ecutech sends you with their phone flash capabilities, as well as the cable and everything that they give you in their tuning package. Now this, the first half of the video will apply to basically any e ECU or Ecutech customer. Um, and then later on in the video, we'll start talking about just GR Corolla stuff, talking about the maps that we have done some research and development on, talking about the modifications that we can support, and then talk about how you guys can get in touch with us to get some tuning done on your own vehicles. So to start it off, we're gonna have Dave over here walk us through kind of what comes in the Ecutech package. You get this nice zipper case, store all the things. If you buy from us, you have our contact information here. Reach out with any questions, we're happy to help. But this guy is the main part. This is what you're going to be plugging into the car's OBD2 diagnostic port. And this has Bluetooth capability. So when you download Ecutech's Phone Flash app or Phone Connect app, you'll be able to connect directly to this and uh, not even worry about this cable. But just in case um, you want to use a laptop, they include the cable too. And that just plugs into the back of that. And today, John is going to tune his mom's Corolla. We are gonna start off with kind of going through and walking, walking you guys through the first steps of, you just got the Ecutech package in the mail and now it is time to install it on your car. The next step is download the ECU Connect app on your phone and then plug this OBD2 port connector into your car. I'm gonna take this, we're gonna go into the car, right down here, uh, just above the clutch pedal, kind of right below where the hood prop thing is. This is not easy to do this with one hand. Slides in just like that, and you guys saw that green light come on. Once we have that plugged in, all you guys are wanna do is turn the car to on. So click twice without your feet on the brake or clutch. So then you have ignition on on the dash. So on your phone, right, open up, you're gonna download that app, the Ecutech ECU Connect app. For you guys who are launching the app for the first time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the settings button on the bottom right of the screen. You'll have the ECU Tech or Ecutech account on the top, so that's my account, and then you have to select your tuner. So you're gonna go through, choose a tuner, and you're gonna to have to scroll through all the different tuners that Ecutech works with. You guys will scroll down to Nemtech ECU tuning. So Nemtech ECU tuning, click that. So we are now using Nemtech as our tuner on the app. So now you go back into the settings, press add and remove. You're gonna add the dongle. So you're gonna connect your phone through Bluetooth to the dongle that's already plugged into the car. Our setup is the BTLE one. So you're gonna click on BTLE. You're gonna click the plus button on the top right of the screen. You're gonna be scanning and hopefully the dongle should pop up. We're gonna plus it to pair it and then keep going. And look at that, go. just like that, it's already Bluetoothed into my phone. And now you guys will notice that on the home screen, you now have a button that says my car on there. So we'll click my car. So you guys can see now we have a Toyota G16e GTS. So that's the Corolla. We have some info, dashboard, data logging, the check engine light tool, OBD2 readiness, performance analyzer, and the program, the ECU. So let's click on program, the ECU, click on the send vehicle info to tuner. And then we will get the make is a Toyota, click back out, model is a GR Corolla. So then we're gonna press send to Nemtech ECU tuning, and then that'll send our info for the car. So now Dave will get an email on his end and have all the access to the original map and everything that comes on the Corolla. Then what he'll do is, He'll redeem our license fee basically, um, and we'll license your guys' car to then be able to send you a tune file and have you guys be able to download it on your car. So Dave's gonna go ahead, he's gonna link into our car, 
and then we'll go from there. So Dave, uh, on his end, he logged into kind of our Ecutech account on our phone, um, and he sent me two, fi two files. He sent me a stock map, and then he also sent, uh, sent me over um, our kind of stage one uh, 91 octane map. Dave, which map are we gonna start with? Just the stock one? Yeah, let's watch the stock. You're gonna connect up to your car, and then you're gonna press the program ECU button on the bottom. You're gonna press the support under supported ECUs. You're gonna click the engine, and then that will give you your list of flash files. We are gonna go ahead and put on the stock map. It's gonna say program, so we're gonna press program. It's gonna give us a little, you know, do to do about some test stuff. Mm -hmm. Press start test, and then this will take a few minutes. Like, what are we doing? Alrighty, great. Everything is working as expected, and you can now proceed to program the ECU. Yay. Click the continue button, press program again. It's going to say preparing, CPU one of two preparing. The car's going to start beeping and booping. We got a lot of lights on. So we finished up. I'm going to turn off the ignition on the car. Please turn on the ignition. Gonna Don't give her, start it, though. Going to give her the old double tap. Don't start the car, just turn the ignition on. And now it's clearing all the DTCs. Ho oh, ho! Programming completed successfully. Press the close button. And now we're going to go into my car. And we are going to go into. You got to warm it up. Yeah. Alrighty. So we got the car all fired up. We are going to wait just a sec for the car to warm up. And we will get right on Chuchin with doing some pulls. Okay, so the car is all warmed up and we are just about ready to get going with doing some pulls. First off, I wanna to talk to you guys about the data logging. Enable for Dave to go into the tune and make changes and make sure that your guys' car is running correctly. You guys are gonna to need to take a data log, send it off to Dave so that he can look over it and then make changes to the tune accordingly. You're gonna go onto the ECU Connect app. You're gonna to connect to my car once it's connected, you're gonna be able to choose from the menu and you're gonna click on data logging. And then it'll come up with a huge list of a bunch of different things that it's measuring. In his original kind of connection to your phone and your car, he's gonna send you what's called a log file. So on the top right of the data log screen, there's gonna be like a little file icon. You're gonna click on it. And then it says, choose logging profile. So the Nemtech default GRC. So now you have our data log set up. It's on your phone. Our file is, is reading. And then on the bottom left side of the screen, there's a start button. So when you press start, it's gonna start logging. So I will preface this with, I'm gonna ask everybody for two different types of logs. One of them is gonna be a third gear wide open throttle pull. And I'm gonna ask you to start the pull at 2000 RPM, go wide open throttle and accelerate all the way to red line in third gear. The other one is going to be turn your data logger on and drive around for 10 minutes. I just want to see 10 minutes of stop and go, highway cruising, you know, however it is you drive the car. Because I want to get a little more information about the areas of the map that you're going to run in. Is there anything weird I need to look for or adjust? And it just tells me a lot about it and helps me customize that tune to your car. Tell me when you want to go. Go for it. Foot to the floor. took a log off the car, we did three or four pulls, and now I have to figure out how to send this to Dave. So you're gonna go back, and you're gonna go into my files. I'm gonna go you're into You're gonna go file. into data logs, and we just did the most recent one. So you're gonna press the select button on the top right, you're gonna click on whichever data log you wanna send, and then there's a share button on the bottom left of the screen, and then it's gonna say send to Nemtech. Enter description, let's just do stock map, dyno runs. Just to give Dave a little bit of background what the files are for, and then we can go out, and then basically now what Dave's gonna do, he's gonna get his laptop, he's gonna look through the map, he's gonna go through the logs and kinda see like where he could improve, some, you know, making sure that it's not running dangerously rich or dangerously lean, the timing isn't too advanced or retarded, 
and uh, then he's gonna go ahead and make any changes that he thinks is necessary. And then what he's gonna do is create a new map, send you guys a new map, have you download the, the next map or the next revision kinda, and then kind of basically ask you to do the same exact thing. We wanna make sure you guys' cars are running good. We wanna make sure that they're running safe. Three to five revisions is kind of our goal for uh, uh, one of the customer cars. So now we are at the fun part of the video where we get to talk about the research and development that me and Dave have been, have been doing over probably the last eight months. Uh, since last summer, we have been trying to tune these GR Corollas on the stock ECU. Uh, and if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you would have seen kind of the progression through intakes and downpipes and different exhaust setups and the valve springs and a whole bunch of different parts. And so now it's awesome that we can finally kind of give you guys a real product that comes from it. Um, so we're gonna talk pretty quickly about kind of the stock ECU, tuning it through EcuTech, and kind of what we offer for tune packages. So let's start with just stage one, right? Stage one, completely stock car, right? 91 fuel, 93 fuel. Most people have access to 91, right? We can gain a solid 35 wheel torque and maybe 15 to 20 wheel force. Not as much horsepower as you can gain torque. They're very, very sensitive to what fuel you run. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that people kind of advertise like an ethanol based map. So like an E30 or an E40 blend. And you've probably seen there've been a couple guys who say that running full E85 on these cars is, you know, possible. Uh, the thing is, is we, as much as we push the limit on our own car and, you know, we want to make big turbo, big power, uh, we don't believe that kind of, we don't believe in selling a product that might damage one of your guys' cars. We want to keep our stuff on the more conservative end uh, with also giving you guys the best bang for your buck in terms of price of tuning to how much you get in return. Because we do understand, me and Dave both get it. We have modified cars ourselves and we have to pay the licensing fees and stuff from EcuTech no matter what. Um, so realistically right now, as it goes, the licensing fee and the tuning cable dongle package um, between seven, 800 bucks for the tuning kit from EcuTech. And then our tunes normally run 400, 500 bucks. So any of our tuning packages, you can probably get into for around 1100 to $1,200. Uh, and that works with, you know, three or four or five revisions from Dave, making sure that your guys' car are running correctly, making sure that they are running safe to where you guys won't have any issues in the future. In terms of actual maps and what kind of aftermarket parts we can support, we do have maps built out for most of the modifications that we've done. We've tested extensively with the MST intake. However, other intakes are going to be similar. Uh, I think we did another car with the Forge intake scoop, right? And that's pretty helpful um, just in combination with the stock airbox too. We've done testing with the MBRP catback Super duper nice one. And honestly, like the best bang for the buck you can get is just the center exit MBRP. Coming back up a little bit towards the front, a high flow catted downpipe. Big gains here. Um, not only torque, but horsepower. Um, it lets the heat escape from the motor. So what can we do then? We can pump more in the front end if we're releasing from the back end, right? Your engine is just a giant air pump. We have, um, so in terms of intercoolers, our other car ran a PWR intercooler, which was a good upgrade. Um, it had aluminum end tanks versus the plastic end tanks that the stock one comes with. There are a couple other intercoolers on the market. Um, I know Off The Line makes one, I believe they just came out with it. Uh, but there also are a couple that you can retrofit into your car um, that like Lamb Speed would sell. There's a Hypertune one that is made for Yaris's. Um, we actually have a really awesome video coming probably in about a month, which is going to talk about retrofitting a really, really big intercooler onto our race car. So stay tuned for that. But I would consider that like a full bolt on stage two, everything but the turbo. These cars are a little bit difficult to modify. Um, and realistically, the reason that is, is purely because they're, it's a brand new platform, right? The reason that you can't do ethanol or E85 maps right now is purely just because people don't make the parts for it. Uh, as these cars progress and as more people spend time and, and money in progressing this platform, more parts will come available, more tunes will become available. We are able to basically support any modification that you could do to one of these cars, whether it's stock ECU or a standalone ECU, any modification, 
we've basically done enough R&D to where we are now confident in saying that we can help out you guys, no matter what you're looking for, no matter your power level, no matter your goal. Uh, these cars are very, very complicated, so please bear with us. Um, we've had some troubles with Ecutech because they are still in the beta phase. They don't have everything fully figured out in the stock ECU. And quite frankly, there's probably way too much to ever fully understand every parameter in the stock ECU. We have found it very helpful to use the Cybex to figure out what the engine likes. And now we're trying to apply what the engine likes to the stock ECU logic. We are looking forward to this summer. There's a lot of big things coming. The motor build is coming very, very soon on our other GR Corolla. We have a lot of the parts already here. We are waiting to make the video about it until we have everything to where we can show you all at one time. So if you guys are interested in that, please go down below, hit the subscribe button. If you liked this video, go down below and hit the like button because it really helps us out. If you guys have any questions at all about anything, you guys can leave them down in the comments section or we will have our Instagrams and other ways to contact us linked in the description. Feel free, reach out anywhere and everywhere. You can get a hold of us. We are interested in helping you guys out with anything GR Corolla wise. With that being said, this is the end of the video and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.